from Mike Whitefield at William Blunt High School. Tonight's game is the William Blunt Governors versus the Anderson County Mavericks. Um, we're here live for the corn toss and uh, we're gonna take it back down to the field right now. Here come the governors. All right, so here we are, Mike Whitefield. Um, like you said, Anderson County versus the William Blunt governors. Well, what's what's on tap tonight there, Tyler? Well, um, we got a few keys to the game for uh, William Blunt. Uh, number one, I'd say 
is our offensive line. Uh, if we can get a running game going early, yeah. Um, I mean that's that's our number one goal is to get the running game going early. Number two is uh, you know, shut down Anderson County uh, in the passing game. They have a great quarterback. Uh, his name's Stanton Martin. Uh, he's a senior. So um, he they is, also have he a good running back, Mark Keese Gallagher, I think. I think that's his name, number 25. I believe so. And um, Martin, however, is coming off an injury. So um, it's going to be interesting to see how he performs tonight. Um, they also have a pretty decent linebacker. I, I forgot his last name. Is it Mook? I think uh, Mook. Ryan Moog. Moog, Ryan Moog, number uh, 18. That's somebody to kind of keep an eye out for. Actually, I was talking to one of the, uh, the stat guys for Anderson County before this game, and he said he had – they probably had – four or five guys that would probably be playing Saturdays on co in college soon. So uh, this is going to be a really big uh, game for William Blunt. They're going to be up against some stiff competition tonight. William Blunt in the orange pants tonight, and I have to say I think I like these better than the white ones. Yeah, I kind of I like them too. It's a nice little touch. Matosian will kick for the Governors. Ball is kicked into the end zone. Mavericks will take over at the 25. Excuse me, at the 20. So we're going to see what Anderson County does on offense right here. It's first and ten. Martin, play action. Dumps it off, it's complete. Martin to number 43, Ethan Powers. Ethan Powers, hit hard by Blake Fields. Second and four after that play. They hand it to Gallagher, and Gallagher is tripped up after a gain of one. First third down of the night. Let's see if uh, it's third and short. What, what, they got about two yards? Looks like uh, they're running fast. So we must have to get used to being ready to go quickly. Three receivers near side. Also, when I was talking to the, the guys from Anderson County, they, had, they said they had some, quite a few uh, receivers out there as well. As that's Gallagher, first down Mavericks. Marquise Gallagher is 5'11", 220 pounds. I think their quarterback is what, six foot 190? I think that's what he was. Yep. Here's Martin back to throw. Fires deep down the post and it's incomplete. Flag. Might have got there a little early. Eddie Brown defending flag on the play. So if you were uh, watching the, the pregame ceremonies, you may have seen that there was a little bit of a, a delay or mess up in your stream. Yeah. Just hang in just hang in there with us. We actually are recording this at the same time. So at the end of the night, we'll be able to replace the video. Uh, so if there are things you've missed, you'll be able to see those uh, af after the game. We'll be able to re-upload them and come to the same spot and watch it. After that penalty, it's first and 10, Anderson County. 
Ball's on the 46. I believe we got a false start on Anderson County right here. And indeed it is. Illegal procedure against the Mavericks. Go back in a five. The war made for seven. Martin swings it out near side. It's caught. That's Carroll, and Carroll is tackled Carroll near the 42. Second and six for Anderson County. Martin rolls right, throws right, it's caught. Once again, it's Ethan Powers. Pass complete to Ethan Powers. Wyatt Rutgerson on the top. First down, Anderson County. First and 10, Anderson County. Martin throws far side, it's caught. So far they're just uh, taking their time walking down the field. We've got to put a little pressure on them to get this thing stopped. They've mixed it up between runs and throws so far in the first drive. Last week, uh, William Blunt was able to get some stops in the red zone. It's going to be real tough to get those stops here tonight as that's Marquise Galhair. Marquise Galhair, excuse me. I might pr mispronounce that name Gallagher, a couple. Gallagher. 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 Yeah, Gallagher. I don't know. <laughs> Martin hands it off. That's Gallagher to the five. He fumbles, and it's recovered by William Blunt in the end zone. That's Michael Harris. Here's a replay. That's big. That is huge. Hey, I just mentioned it. William Blunt getting stops last week. They get a turnover here tonight. Who, how did he lose it here? It looked like it just hit on his knee or something. Just It's almost like uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> so we might be able to do it again here. Made one man miss. And it was, I believe that's right. He Ruck hit his knee. He that's Rutgerson. He definitely hit his knee. Rutgerson hit his leg. And he just lost control of it after that. Clemmer under center right here, and we got a flag already. Delay a game. Well then. So um, we are learning to do replays tonight. So we may get some of them. We may not get we may not get some of them. But uh, we actually got that one. You actually could tell mm -hmm. that actually hit his own knee and knocked it out. Yep. And you'll notice um, there's a lot of Anderson County players that uh, play both ways. Uh, I mean, they've got a large team, but they still got a lot of guys that play both ways. Here's a great catch by Brett Bowling. Down at the 31. 
He got behind the defense. And hauled it in. I formation right here for William Watt. It's first and ten. Clemmer hands it off to Sugden. And Sugden is tackled near the 26. In on the tackle, Marquise Gallagher. Clemmer under center. Clemmer hands it off to Sugden once again. Looks like the same play. Gains four. Now it's third and one. Clemmer hands it off to Sugden and he is stuffed in the backfield. It's fourth down. William Watt's going to go for it right here. Pratt's is down here one on one. Sugden is the tailback. Clemmer handoff. Sugden running over a man. I think he got it. First down, William Watt. Nice run right there by Sugden as he lowers the shoulder to pick up the first down. And there's a replay of it. Same formation for, for William Blunt, play action. Clemmer firing end zone, the pass is incomplete. Broken up by Carroll and Joshua Godwin Miller. Oh. Single back set for the governors. Second and 10. Clemmer throws in zone, wide open. Brett Bowling gets caught. Touchdown, Governors. Brett Bowling with the touchdown catch. He had that huge catch down here. That looked that really, very nice. That really sparked uh, William Blunt. So here's Matosian to attempt the extra point. Tyler, I'm sorry I left you there. We're having some replay problems. When we were doing the replays, it was redoing our voice over and over and over again. So Matosian, his kick is good. Yeah, Marcos. So anyway, um, I'm downstairs it's it's playing the replay over and over again i think they're still getting the actual uh 
feed, but it's like getting our audio for some reason. So that's something we just got to figure out what's going on. And unfortunately, so it kind of messes more, up our replay for tonight. Yeah, it's more like playing a highlight video. <laughs> yeah. So at this point, what we'll do is, you know, we'll go back to the drawing board on that. Again, we're doing all we can to, like, learn how to do some of this stuff. And something – we had some problems beforehand getting the thing rolling on the live feed tonight. And I think part of that's uh, – that's part of the problem. The touching will kick for the governor. Matosian will kick off for the governors. Kicks this one to about the seven. And there they go. Miller tackled near the 46. Come Mavericks onto the field once again. Stanton Martin is the quarterback. Hands it off. And Gallagher is thrown back. Gallagher on the carry. Met hard by the governor line. Led by John Johnson. Martin throws near side, it's caught. Great tackle that time by Noah Derman. Ryan Moog was one on one in open space with Derman, and Derman came up big. Martin looks right, now he's gonna scramble. He's got all day to throw. Now there's a flag down, and the pass is picked off by William Blunt. <laughs> and if this is on Anderson County, it will be declined, I'm sure. All right. Second takeaway of the game for William Blunt. Looks like we got a hurt player down on the field. Oh, no. I uh -oh, think that's, that's the running back. That's Marquise Gallagher. We're going to take a break and be right back with you uh, right after this.
Welcome back to William Watt High School. So after that interception by William Boynt, it's first and 10. Rutgerson in motion. Oh, this is a pass downfield for Pratt's. Almost caught. Some good coverage that time by Logan Berry for the Mavericks. I love what I'm seeing so far uh, out of the offense. Same formation as they were running earlier. Clemmer hands it off. Sugden. Picks up about two. Oh no, we got another flag. It's gonna be face mask on Anderson County. Here's Clemmer. Back to throw. Fires far side, it's caught. Tarver. It's his first catch of the night. Pass is complete to Jordan Tarver. Joshua Donovan Miller on the stop. William Blunt's had uh, some success so far, throwing the ball down the field. Shotgun formation here for Clunner. High snap, handed off to Sugden, and Sugden gains about two. Tyler, I'm sorry I keep leaving you there, but we're, <laughs> we're having some difficulties. Uh, that's part of the game here, learn how to do this. You're doing a great job, though, doing it all by yourself. <laughs> but um, we may have our replays back in order. We'll see if that's if, if going to be good going forward. Third and two. They hand it off to Sugden, and Sugden's got the first down, the I think. Hit by number 56. Oh, come on. That's a bad spot. Yeah, I don't know about that spot. Well, um, oh no. You've got to be kidding me. He got the first down. Yeah, it looked like it to me. I mean, he his whole I mean, body was on. across the his whole body looked like it was across the line of scrimmage from here. I mean, we're sitting right on the Up 49. The box, like we're right where it is. No, there's no way. I'm sorry, but. It was like the official spotted it before he even went to the ground. Like yeah. he was already on. And I wish our replay would have been working. If you're watching it, if you're watching it on the, on the uh, stream, oh. you're able to 
roll it back a little bit and see it yourself. Good grief. He is not half a yard short. <laughs> yeah. If anything, even if you just give it, he's, he's inches, not. Yeah. Well, this looks like a quarterback sneak to me. We'll see if we can get actually get a replay this time. Fourth and should be an inch. Quarterback snake it, don't matter. I wonder how they'll spot that one. <laughs> ah, they might spot it back at the 46. <laughs> All right, we're trying to do the replay and it's not working right now, so. We're not gonna do replays if we just keep on getting black screens. Yeah. So here's Clemmer on first down. Rolls right, fires, it's caught. Tanner and Pratt's. Actually, that's Isaiah Pratt's, excuse me. We're not gonna do a replay every time, but we are trying to see if we can get some of this going. So here's the replay again. Clemmer fires right side. It's out of bounds, incomplete. I'm telling you, I'm liking the tenacity of these uh, receivers tonight. They're doing a, they're doing a pretty good job of uh, going after, going up and getting the ball. Tenacity, that's a big word. Well, <laughs> I get one big word a game, so I might use it again later, just because I had to, you know, I had to go look in the dictionary before. <laughs> to see what word I'm going to use. Uh, it's third and three. Clemmer hands it off. Sugden's got the first down and a little bit more. Cuts back at the 28. And he's wrestled down near the 24-yard line. Caleb Sugden, gain of 12. And that'll move the chains for the governors. Nice hard run right there. Man, if we could score seven right here, that would be huge. It's important to note, um, Anderson County averaged 52 points a game last year. As here's the handoff to Sugden. Cuts back near the 15. And he's spun down near the six. It'll be first and goal for William Blunt. William Blunt's gonna take it to the second quarter. So the score. After one. William Blunt, seven. Anderson County, zero. career with that class. Aren't you excited? Isn't it great? We're the class of 88.
All right, so we're back. We got first and uh, first and six on the on the six. Not sure what that was for. <laughs> Premature. Goodness, if we're if we're gonna shoot <laughs> fireworks off after a wait wait a quarter, we might be shooting them off a lot at this right. I think he was just getting a little bit anxious for this score. <laughs> hey, it's not just us that are just having technical difficulties. Yeah. So that makes me feel a lot better. I tell you, he's showing a lot of tenacity out there. <laughs> just thought I'd get that word out there again. <laughs> Here we go, ball on the three. It's second and goal. Oh, Anderson County got a great rush up the middle right there. They're keying in on Sugden right now. He's running hard tonight. I'm liking it so far. So what do you do here on third and goal? We've had uh, two runs that got stuck. Yet stuck. That got stuffed. I can't talk tonight. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a little play action over the top look might work here. Clemmer under center. Oh. Evades pressure. Now he's sacked. Russell Lindsey got there first. So the governors will now line up to try and tack on three points. I don't understand how Anderson County got in there so fast on both those plays. Snap down, the kick is up, and the kick is good. You'd like to see us score the touchdown there on the six, but uh, I'll take any points we can get. Oh, come on. Where's the end? So is Marco's pizza. <laughs> Maybe only get those on touchdowns. All right, we're going to jump to commercial here, and we'll be back in a moment. Score at the end of the first quarter, Marable 7, Oakland 0. Welcome back, we're live here. 10 minutes remain in the second quarter. William Blunt leads it 10 to nothing. That's going into the end zone. That's so a it's, a touch, it's a touchback for the governors. And Anderson County will set up at the 20. Great kick right there by number 80, Joe Matosian. First and 10.
Man in motion for the Mavericks. They hand it to him. This is Michael Carroll. And Carroll is tackled after a gain of eight. Martin looks over to the sideline. Okay, I think we figured out our audio problems that we're having in a different world here. I know you're tired of me talking about that. <laughs> Pass is complete to Carroll. Gallagher is in the game at running back. Nice to see him back on the field. That play moves the chains for the Mavericks. We're back here live at William Blunt. Anderson County has the ball. They hand it to Gallagher, and Gallagher is tackled near the 38. You're getting that name down after about the 15th time saying it tonight. Well, I mean, it's like it's like you and Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Pratt's? <laughs> I saw his mom tonight before the uh, before the game, and I apologized. Martin, play action. He's got all day to throw. Finds Gallagher. Soft spot in defense. And Gallagher just tried to stiff arm Michael Harris. There's, There's a flag. flag there at the end. There's a flag. I think his little late hit. I don't know if they call it. Well, John Johnson was down here on the ground. It looked like to me he was getting held. Let's see if we can see it. We don't know if our audio is on right now or not. <laughs> we're guessing we're good. Yeah. So here's the play. I don't know if we'll see what happened, but. Watch Harris. That's the thing that I saw there at the very end that the guy jumped on the pile, but somehow. Not really sure what happened. I missed it. Be nice to uh, get a good stop here. They've uh, had a little. They've had a little mini drive going on here.
Martin Get rolls right. Fires and it's incomplete. Second and ten right here for Anderson County. They hand it off Wide to Gallagher. That was a big old, big hole up the middle. I tell you what, you can't tackle Gallagher trying to use your upper body. I mean, you got to go low. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to hit him low. The thing is, he had a big old hole to run through, so. Nice stop right there. Is that Michael Harris, I believe? I think it was. I think so. There's a replay. Oh, he eluded the block there and made the made a big play there. Melhorn in on the stop as well. Had a little movement on the left side that they did not call. The that was Moog. We had a tackle or something that stood straight up and they didn't call they didn't call anything. Look here on the uh, 55. Well, I didn't get it on a replay, but he stood up before the snap was called. I mean, before they and everybody was already set. Actually, it was the guard. Martin, shotgun. It's third and goal. They hand it off to Gallagher, and Gallagher got in. Touchdown, Anderson County. Well, they uh, pretty much ran it in the middle on this uh, last few plays. We stop them a couple times, but then they get the uh, the big yards they needed. That then the uh, penalty didn't help much help much either. It's gonna be hard to uh, stop Gallagher. It's gonna be tough. Extra point is up, and it's good. Well, here's the good news. It's a uh, 10-7 Governors. Uh, I think if anything, the governors are realizing, hey, we can play these big, but we can play these big guys right now. They're just trying to keep keep um, that in their mind as we go into uh, the rest of this game, and I think we'll be fine. Doesn't appear last year is going to happen. Uh, Anderson County scored 56 on the governors last year. Right. We're already uh, midway through the second quarter. Um, other than that drive, it's just been all William Blunt. We've had some good, we had big plays on both sides. Uh, we, you know, Anderson County actually inflicted a little bit of trouble on themselves when they fumbled. The guy fumbled off his knee without mm -hmm. anybody touching him. Yeah. But it's up to William Blunt to capitalize on those plays, which is exactly what they did. They they uh, went in, and scored. But not went in. They had to take it all the way down the length of the field to do it. Steve Wagner will kick for the Mavericks. Steve Wagner will kick. Hear a little echo. <laughs> ah.
Here's the kick. After that return by Noah, Noah Derman, the Govs will take over at the 28. At the 26, first and then. Oh, they spotted at the 26. <laughs> first and 10. William Blunt. Clemmer hands it off to Sugden. And Sugden is tackled near the 28. Sugden carries. He is tackled by Russell Lindsay. I'm afraid we're going to have to... Uh, Spread them out a little more, looks like. Yeah, it's going to be tough continuing to pound, pound it in the middle. Anderson County's stacking the box now. Is there a uh, I don't see a flag timeout? Timeout, William Blunt. Timeout, William Blunt. So that puts uh, William Blunt down to one timeout. We're going to go to a quick commercial real quick. We're back now. So we got 5:27 left in this half. Uh, it's second and nine, and it looks like we're going to have to start uh, finding somewhere else to go besides running up the middle. We're going to start uh, throwing the ball a little bit, which we had su success in the first half. So um, there's no sense in we in, in that we could we can definitely do. That, that's what I'm trying to say. Handoff right side, and so like then pick up about a yard. Yep, about a yard and a half. Sutton on the carry, drives to the ground by Stone Cummings. It's third and about seven for William Blunt. Clemmer is the quarterback. Yellow blitz. Rolls left, fires left, and it's incomplete. Michael Carroll with the coverage. They brought the pressure on that one, and uh, although Trey, he uh, rolled out, he uh, ran out of time and had to hurry the throw. Bryant will punt. We haven't seen Garrett Brackett tonight on offense yet. I'd look for that maybe later as this kick is down to 28. Four thirty-four remaining in the first half. Here's Martin, he hands it off to Gallagher, and Gallagher is tackled near the 35. 
Gallagher on the carry. Michael Harris with the stop. Looks like Gallagher's still a little, uh, he's still limping a little bit. About time for uh, another turnover. Perhaps William Blunt could get one. As here's Gallagher thrown down after a gain of three. This looks bring us by third and one, it looks like. They give it to Gallagher once again. He's tackled near the 41. Gallagher carries again. Nice carry right there. I feel like Gallagher's, like I said earlier, he's uh, he's he's running hard, but he he's running hurt at the same time. He's the, uh, I'd say he's the key to their offense right now. Martin alone in the backfield. Screen pass. That's Michael Carroll. Pass was complete to Michael Carroll. He's tackled by Michael Harris. Harris has had a great game so far on the defensive side. Martin. Swings it out. Ryan Moog. Moog running down the near sideline. There's a flag. It's going to be on Anderson County, I believe. It was over here on the. I wonder if it's a hold. Here's a replay. Yep, it's a hold. It looks like a face mask, maybe. If you One run that back. If you run it, wind it back. Sorry, it's taking me a second. <laughs> but right there. You see That's he's got a hold a, or a face mask. That's a face two. mask. Either way, they're backing up. Um, so it looks like it's going to be second and mm, second and ten. That's what it looks like. Martin throws far side, it's caught. Ryan Moog. Come on, bring him down. That was the exact same play they just ran just yeah, to just the other side. side. Yep. Usually when they're trying to do that, they're trying to spread the defense out so they can have more room with the middle to run. William Blunt needs to get a stop right here. As here's Martin, there's a fake. Now they're gonna try to go deep. Can't find anyone. Now he has to just run out of bounds. Looks like a loss of about a yard. I think I would have just thrown that one away if I was him. Here's a replay. He was setting us up, running that uh, quick pass, but then he wasn't open deep. Second and 12, Martin hands it off. No, it's a play. Play fake. He ran, <coughs> ran out of bounds on his own. He had running room. Derman with the stop. Brings up third and six, maybe. I 
I'd probably look something to move right here. A little pressure. Rolls left. Where's the flag at? Come on, guys. Now he flings it to move. There he is, wide open. Touchdown, Anderson County. You've got to be kidding me. He tackled the guy in the backfield. The left tackle. Let's see what we see here. It's a long. Oh, my goodness. Watch this. He tackles him. I mean, he just blindsided him. Good grief. Here's the extra point attempt. It's good. So we got a minute 45 left in this quarter. Uh, and the uh, Mavericks are up uh, 14 to 10. We're going to cut to a commercial. We'll be back in a minute. Welcome back. Steve Wagner will kick off for the Mavericks. Wagner the kick. Sugden in the way. Sugden bowling. Back, back deep for William Blunt. Bowling returns from the 10. It's out to about the 20 and thrown down near the 23 yard line. So we got a minute 39. Try and make something happen. So as we, uh, as you're looking at the score scoreboard, it's always something every week. We've tried different things for the scoreboard tonight. Uh, as the lights get darker, the camera is trying to adjust to it. So maybe at halftime we can get that part fixed. It also says first quarter. It's the second quarter. Yeah, but that's not us. Yeah. <laughs> I formation, Klemmer hands it off. Sugden gets to about the 30 yard line. Sugden on the carry. Logan I'm still kind of wondering what the officials were watching on the touchdown play. I'm not sure. <laughs> Clemmer under center once again. Hands it off. Now in the 52 seconds. Looks like we're just going to let the clock run. Or did somebody call a timeout? No, they gave us a first down. First down, Governor. Might want to try and do something right here before the half. I'm not sure. Blitz up the middle. Clemmer rolls right. Throws and it's caught. Brett Bowling. Down at the 49. Colin, hurry up right now. Here's a replay. Yeah, Clemmer gotta, just yeah, rolling gotta, right, yeah, throwing. Got to go back to the live action here. Yeah. 
Mavericks rushed uh, five or six on that one as here's Clemmer rolling left, throws left, incomplete. Underthrown that time. I like the aggressiveness. We could have just sat there and let the clock run out. But I like that we're trying to move it down there. Make something happen good. It isn't raining in this game. <laughs> that's a that's a positive from last week. Here's Clemmer. We doubled up down here. <laughs> All right. Throws far side. It's caught. Pratt. He got the first. Yep. Down at the 35. 25 seconds. Governors have one timeout left. Clemmer spikes it. 24 seconds remaining. Govs will have it uh, second and 10 on the 35. I mean, even if you can't get in the end zone right here, you'd at least want to get Put probably across the middle and get down, out there. down inside the 20. Yeah, so you can get we have at options. least three. Yep. Points or points. We get the ball back to uh, start the second half. Clemmer shotgun. Fires and it's caught. I believe that's Brett Bowling. Might see a spike right here. Yeah, that's what they're gonna do. Get set and spike it, come on. 13 seconds remaining. I'm honestly surprised they didn't move the clock. I mean, move the sticks. I thought that the, uh, I thought that was a first down. I thought it was too. I thought it was a, not such a good spot on that one. I think the coaches did too. Oh, it was, they called first down, but they didn't move the chains. Cause I was wondering why the clock wasn't Are ticking. Are we gonna reset the clock then? Or is it gonna be second and 10? Uh, well, it, the clock wasn't moving. I was noticing it. It was actually moving um, while they were lining up. So it, it started. It started at 17, and then it ticked down four seconds. So yeah, it's second and 10 now. That's what they're gonna do. Clemmer throws it. It's a wheel route to Bowling, incomplete. Double covered right there. We got eight seconds left. To me, that's two plays. That's a. Uh, I'm thinking just hand it off up the middle and bring number 80 on. Oh, he, he's going to bring him on right now. It will be a 42 yard attempt for I thought they might. Try and just hand it off to Sugden, maybe get a few extra yards. You know, center it up as well. But here we go 42 yard attempt from Matosian. Kick is up. And it snuck in. That's a weapon right there. Uh, to be able to kick that from there and make it a one-point game going into halftime. Here's the kick again. <laughs> Let's get that graphic off of there. Yeah, we'll run that. <laughs> we'll run it again real quick. Fireworks did go off that time. I like how you said it snuck in. Yeah. And it had like a... Uh, are you talking about left and right? Because <laughs> it had plenty of distance, if you saw that. Oh, uh, I was talking about, I think he, <laughs> he, if it was two feet right, I think he would have missed it. Yeah. So we got two seconds left. Um, 
I think you kick it in the end zone. This is – I don't know if – I just don't like having the uh, the person uh, have a chance to run it back. That may just be me. Some people would kick it to somebody or just kind of pooch kick it and run the clock out. But. I just tell Joe, kick it as far as you can. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'd, I'd rather them take a sh- – well, I don't know. I, I mean – Sometimes I'd rather just pooch if it. The, and if they get the ball with two seconds left, they're just – they're either going to yeah. nail it or – I mean, what I would do is I maybe do a pooch to one of these linemen up front. <laughs> I'd hand it off to Gallagher if I was Anderson County if I got the ball back. See if he can bust one. But here we go. Not bad idea. Squib, Squib it. kick. Squib it. And it's Moog who falls on top of it. And that's the end of the second quarter. It's now halftime. Okay, so we're going to cut to a commercial uh, in a minute, but uh, we'll probably catch the band and, as they're playing a little bit later, and then we'll have a little uh, introduction to the second half. Yeah, so we'll cut to commercial now and be back in a few.
Welcome back for uh, live second half action here at Mike Whitefield. Um, Anderson County leads 14 to 13. Richard, what do we need to do to win, to, uh, win this game? Well, the obvious point is score more points than they do. So I was thinking about having keys of the game, uh, obvious keys of the game, and that's mm -hmm. one of them is score more points than they do. But on a serious note, we've uh, – We've played pretty good. Uh, we've had a few miscues. Uh, we've capitalized on Anderson County's miscues. Ladies and um, you know, I, I, it's important that our kids know that they're in this game. You know, mm -hmm. uh, they played well last year, last week. Uh, they played hard, and they're still playing hard this week, and I'd love to see us uh, uh, keep going and uh, and have a couple breaks go our way like yep. they did in the first half. Um, we're going to cut back to the field right now. Nicole Custer and Ansley Tuck. Sophomore Savannah Sexton. Holly Scott. There we go. And Emma Webb. And your freshmen are Lexi Blair, Taylor Reading, and Haley Prater. This year's 2018 2019 Governor Cheerleading Squad. Steve Wagner to kick. Wagner, number 85, will kick number for the Mavericks. William Blount. Here's a kick by Steve Wagner, returned by Sugden, and Sugden Tackled near the 27, I believe. Sean Foster in on the stop. It'll be Governor Ball, first and ten. It'd be huge for William Blunt to uh, drive down and score right here. I agree. Just to remind these guys that we're in it for the whole long haul tonight. Clemmer. Pistol. High snap. Hands it off to Sugden. Sugden's got a hole and he's Sugden dragged down near the, the 35. Second and three for the Governors. Clemmer's favorite target tonight has been Brett Balling, number 14. He's in the slot. Now he motions over. Clemmer hand it, handed it off to Sugden. Yeah, he may have lost a yard on that one. Lost two, actually. He did not lose five yards. Okay. I think you're looking at the other ref. I was looking at the uh, – Yeah, I, I, I saw what you were looking at. <laughs> Third down. Blitz off the left side. It's a screen to Tarver. Tarver's got, Tarver's got some room. Still going and tackled near the 46. They're gonna, nice give, him, play. They're gonna give him forward progress. To the 46, basically. Here's the play again. A little pressure on the outside. Nice. I'd like to see him kind of mix it up like that and give give uh, these big receivers a chance to, to do something with it. I don't think William Blunt's 
Lined up in the eye formation so far this half is that's a very high snap. Seems like every snap's been high tonight. Um, just got to get it lower. Yeah, it can uh, really mess with the uh, timing of the play. Even if it's a it's a decent snap, it, it's high. When they're going bang bang on you know trying to do a fake, it can really throw it off. And I, I say that because this I don't say this much. My son plays center as well, and he and he he did had a couple plays Monday night in the JV game that kind of kind of caused some issues too. It's wide open. Nice throw by Clemmer right there. Pratt's brought down near the 44. So at least got it down to third down and manageable. What, third and eight? Third and eight, yeah. Got some of those yards back. Tarver and bowling their side. I think we got to throw it right here. Timeout. Anderson County. You got to wonder how uh, the Gallagher kid is doing after half. He's playing middle linebacker right now, and he's also playing the main running back for Anderson County. And like I said, you just have to really wonder how those nagging injuries are. I and mean, he was hurting in the first half. This is a great opportunity to mention. Uh, Go follow us on Twitter at GovClubTV, at GovClubTV on Twitter. You can also go to the Facebook page and uh, look up GovClub, and uh, you should be able to find us there as well. It's a lot of good information on the Facebook page throughout the week. You know, they keep you updated on the other sports um, and just kind of it, – it's just a good place to get a lot of information throughout the week. So we've got third and eight, ball in 49. Snap the ball. Huge hit on Klemmer. That was Russell Lindsey who got in the quarterback's face that time. If we could get a replay uh, that time, pre-snap you see the safety running over to cover a receiver. Brings up fourth and eight for the Governors. Bryant barely gets it off. Carroll lets it go and it's a touchback. Well, we um, at least flipped the field. This is gonna be a field position game, I believe, in this, in this quarter for sure. I mean, this half. Um, got a battle on our hands. This, uh, no joke, this Anderson County team is a really good team. Absolutely. And it's uh, really nice to see our guys stepping up to the plate and, uh, and competing hard. Maybe it's the orange pants. <laughs> it could be the orange pants. Here's Martin throwing far side. It's caught. Michael Carroll. That was just a great route right there. First and ten. Martin hands it off. That's Gallagher. Marquise Gallagher on the carry. 
the initial tackle by Michael Harris. He's a load to uh, hit him first. Like you mentioned earlier, you can't hit him up high because he's going to get an extra yard or two if you do. Hand it to Galher once again. Galher is tackled at the 50. Galher once again carries Rob Jackson in on the side. A little bit of uh, extra extracurricular activities at the end of that play that they let go on the field. Got to get a stop right here. It's third and two. Can't really afford to give up a first down. An out route caught Michael Carroll. First down, Anderson County. Seen a uh, Dermon and uh, Blake Fields make some good plays on defense tonight, as well as Michael Harris. That's an incomplete pass. Overthrown. It'll be second and ten. Martin in at quarterback. He hands it off. And Marquise Gallagher is down at the 40. Gallagher carries Caleb Sugden. Credited with the tackle. No huddle right here. They've been going fast all night. They hand it to Moog. And Moog got the first down. Michael Harrison on the stop, along with Grant Lovin. First down, Anderson County. About time for Martin to go to Carroll right here. That's a guy I'm watching for if I'm William Blunt. Number two. He's near side right here on this play. A little bit of confusion here, it looks like. Is it a delay of game or a timeout? Timeout. Anderson County, that's their second of the half. We'll take one with them. Anderson County leads 14-13. Here we go. Back to throw is Martin. He's got time. It's near side, caught. Touchdown, Anderson County. 
said right before we went to break, watch out for Michael Carroll. Yeah, he threaded the needle there. We had coverage underneath him and a little bit, well, a little bit late on top of him, but uh, he threaded it right between them. Steve One, Wagner two, is on to attempt the extra point. Kick is good. And the kick is good. So um, if you're at the game anytime this year, uh, make sure you go check out the uh, Gov Club store. It's uh, underneath the stadium down towards the locker room. So if you're coming from the field inside, take a left and go down there. And they've got all kinds of apparel. We showed you last week we had some shirts that, had, that they had. Uh, they have uh, uh, William Blunt license, plate. license plates right here. And they're decently priced. And remember, all the profits go to um, – the Gov Club, which in turn goes goes towards the uh, the students as well. They also have a really nice uh, program this year. Yep. Uh, it's really nice. So if, if you're mm -hmm. here, make sure you pick up one of those. It's got all the players in it. It's got the uh, the rosters on the back. But uh, make sure you uh, definitely check that out. Wagner to kick. Returned by Rutgerson. He's tripped up at about the 31. Think uh, William Blunt. What do you think they uh, need to do right here? Score. <laughs> I actually, I, they've been throwing the ball better. Um, he's running out a little bit of time on these blitzes. It comes another blitz right now. Clemmer, quick pass. It's caught. That's Pratt. Here's a replay. Slant right wide open. Uh, William Blunt's been able to roll Clemmer out, especially it's worked really well when they uh, roll him to his right side. All right, they're, they're running some good crisp routes where they're confusing the, the defensive backs for sure. And they're getting, you know, it's almost like a pick play almost. Not on that one, but a lot of times I've seen them almost like a pick play where they get the guy wide open. Another blitz by and Anderson County. He has to get rid of this one, and it was almost intercepted. Logan Dolan on the covers that time for the Mavericks. So if you're watching this stream, I'm, I, again, I sound like I'm doing a telethon here, but uh, if you're interested in helping out, uh, we'll come back after this play and we'll talk about it. We talk about ways you can help out with the uh, media team we've got here at the school. Gage Murphy is the fullback. Sugden is the halfback. Maverick uh, stacked the box that time. Got a man on the field. Well, maybe not. Again, it's Gallagher. Slow to get up. He showed some uh, toughness in this game. <laughs> I 
High formation for William Blunt. They're stacking it. They're daring them to, they're daring them to throw it. Play action. Clemmer rolls right. He's going to have to run with it. And he is out of bounds near the 40. Forced to scramble. He'll be stopped short of the first down. Brings up fourth down. And Govs will have to punt. Looks like they're going for it. Oh, they just brought Bryant off the field. Or is he in there? He's Is he playing tight end, or did he come off the field? I'm not sure. William Blunt's going for it, though. Clemmer rolls left. Almost got blasted, and the pass is incomplete. There's a and flag. And we got a flag. I think he hit him before. Let's get a replay right here. Clemmer. Lower left. I tell you what, Russell Winsley, I mean, he's gotten in there all night long. He's been in Clemmer's face. So they're gonna move the chains after that one. Yeah, it looked like uh, Dolan got there early that time for the Mavericks. I think they might try and get sucked in a carry right here. Oh, play Bank. action. Throwing it. He overthrew him. Just a little bit overthrown. Had him wide open. Tarver made a great move at the line. Looks like the player's injured at the end of that. Oh, the, no. Uh, Anderson County guy. We think that's number seven, Logan Berry. Here's a replay. Good fake. Man, he just overshot him a little bit. Those are the plays you uh, you got to make if uh, now number you're seven. Win the game. Number seven had pulled up before, but I think he still would have been wide open because Tarver would have had the size on mm -hmm. him on that one. Oh, well, that was Tarver, I believe. Almost looks like uh, Barry is cramping up. Yeah. What it looks like. So what I was saying earlier, this is probably a good time to talk about this. Is uh, we are uh, we're trying to we're trying to build a uh, a program here where we're doing video for our football team, or hopefully our basketball teams, our baseball teams, and whatever teams we can do. But we need your help to be able to pull that off. Uh, we're we're even away games. We're going to try to do the away game next week. We don't know what that will look like because <laughs> there's all kinds of things that we haven't been tested on. Uh, we're, it seems like we're tested every week here just at home. But there's all kinds of new things that we have to deal with there. But if you are interested in helping uh, financially or if you have a son or daughter that would be interested in helping the group, uh, let us know. You can go to the wbgovclub.com uh, and then go to slash donate, and you can see that there's a media – place to there's a media fund to donate to there's also a, a academic center fund where they're going to be building a uh, academic center here right on the right side of the field uh, yep. and you can also donate to the general fund so but we would really appreciate you going there uh, anything that we could anything you could do would be very helpful to us and uh, again that's wbgovclub.com slash donate Second down. Klemmer is the quarterback. He hands it off to Sugden. And yeah, he got right that's down. Ryan Moog on the tackle. I will say this, they, these guys, Anderson County tackles well. Once they get their, their hands on you, don't go very much farther. 
They've got some big kids all across that line, too. Big linebackers. They definitely have a uh, size advantage over William Blunt. Right. Gotta say, I've been smelling something burning like the whole third quarter. <laughs> it smells like a bonfire. Maybe those uh, fireworks from earlier. The one that went off by accident. <laughs> Sugden is the tailback. Clemmer hit as he throws, incomplete. I mean, he's, get, he's getting blasted. We got to give him some more time. Yeah, he's definitely, uh, he doesn't have time to scan the field and then get his feet set where he needs to throw. I mean, um, he's, he's making one read and he's got to go or else he's going to get sacked. Right. Here's Matosian on to attempt a 46-yard field goal. This may be his longest one so far. Bowling will hold. Kick is up. And the kick is no good. Wide left, I believe. He had the distance. You got to remember, he's a freshman kicker. Now he won't be happy with missing it left, but um. yeah, wide left. A little bit wide, yeah, it's wide left. But um, he's got a big future here for sure. I know we say that every week, but um, he's got the, he had the leg, he had plenty of uh, leg on that one. But last time, the last one, he was a little left as well, I believe. He's a little right. Was he right? Yeah. I can't. I, I don't know my left from my right. So what? what <laughs> What am I talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm still surprised we've not seen Brackett on offense. Well, I don't know if he's not playing or if he's just not getting the ball. I haven't seen him out there, but that doesn't mean – I've not seen him out there. Seen him out there. I mean, he's on defense right now, but I've not seen him on offense at all. Here's the swing pass to Gallagher. Knocked down by Blake Fields. <laughs> They like that play. They like that quick pass to the left and right. And then they try to play off of it where they can uh, set you up for the pump and go over the top. So far, we've defended that part of it pretty well. Martin hands it off to Gallagher. And Gallagher is wrestled down near the 48. It's important to know. Um, Mavericks have outscored William Blunt 21 to three. William Blunt was up 10 nothing in the first half. Just under two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Martin hands it off. You wonder how many more of those hits the defense can take. Right. I mean, Marquise Gallagher, he's just hammering away. Right now he's getting the holes to run through. So then he gets his speed picked up. Looks like we have a timeout. Look on William Blunt. We'll be back in a moment.
We're back here live, Mike White, Mike White Field. Anderson County has the ball. Let's see if we see one of those quick passes here. There's no, uh, there's, it's, there's no running back in the backfield right now. There's a quick pass. Ryan Moog right here. Golly. There he goes. Touchdown, Anderson County. Just missed tackles there. He had it played right. Uh, he actually fought through the blocker and uh, just missed the uh, tackle. Extra point, no good. A little bit of talking after the field goal there. Big plays have hurt William Blunt in this game. Uh, the Mavericks have scored three touchdowns really off of big plays. Steve Wagner on the kick for the Mavericks. Wagner will kick. Brett Bowling is the deep man for the governor. Turned by William Blunt. Ball will be placed at the 30. So at a minute 14 left in the third quarter. Uh, Anderson County is winning 27-13. Uh, looks like we're going to have to go to the air. Because uh, we're starting to run out of time here. I know it's just the third quarter, but uh, we haven't. White had the run game going very well tonight. Anderson, Anderson County's done a good job of stopping it. There's a wide open. Sugged in and he drops it. Might have had a touchdown right there. Yeah, that was a well set up play. And unfortunately went right through his hands. I think sometimes you run before you catch it. I mean, you you think you score I mean, before he, you catch it. I think that may have gone through his mind. He, he, was, big he was so wide open. I mean, it was just. Sometimes you just don't yeah. expect to be that wide open, mm -hmm. and it throws you off, I guess. Well, you got to give another chance. It's the same slant play, incomplete. Tended for Pratt. Pratt checking up a little bit. Looks like he got a little shoulder to the hip at the end of the play. Just seems like William Blunt, whenever they have a good opportunity, I mean, it just 
escapes they don't, them. They don't capitalize, and they have to try and make another big play. As now it's third and ten. Blitz. Screen pass to Sugden. And Sugden is tackled by Ethan Powers near the 38. It's fourth and three. Might try and draw him off sides. That's what you got to do right here, I think. I'm out, William Blunt. We'll take one with him. They're gonna go for it. Welcome back. Fourth and three for William Blunt. Well, there's no. It's been a frustrating night so far as Clemmer hands it off to Sugden, and he's got the first down. Oh my goodness. Uh, that's some extracurricular activity. Goodness. Barry and Bowling were going after it. We could get a replay of that. I'm not sure if we'll have. No, we might get the pushing it and shoving. Nice big hit. There it is. <laughs> the bottom of your screen. Yeah. I haven't figured out how to rerun this thing faster, but. Little extracurricular activities again there. And all behind the ref's back. Like <laughs> the guy on the sideline saw it, but I'm not sure he has a flag in his pocket. Takedown achieved. <laughs> That's the end of the first of the fourth quarter. I've about said the first. <laughs> yeah. It's the end of the fourth quarter. Um I mean we got the ball. It's a two possession game. And you got 12 minutes left. So I'm seeing a lot of um, good signs from the governors tonight. Uh, you know, we've still got a lot to work on. But uh, like I said, coming into this, this Anderson County team, they were 13 and 0 last year going into the playoffs. And um, I think they lost to Greenville, who. Um, May have, may have met their demise against Maryville later on. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Greenville's an excellent football team. Yeah. Um, William Blunt hasn't had that many penalties tonight. That's a plus. Yeah. That one North City game, it was just a flag fest. Yeah, on both sides of the ball, really. Well, they say the most improvement happens. Week one to week two as Clemmer is drilled in the backfield. Another high snap.
Clemmer rolls right. We got the band playing in the middle of a play. Pass is broken up. Pretty sure that's the Anderson County band there. Who gave them admission in? <laughs> Next week, the governors travel to Cleveland. That's the first conference game, I believe. Both teams have one timeout remaining. Clemmer back to throw. Pressured once again, and that pass was almost picked off by Carroll. Offense unraveling here in the late stages. He's just having to hurry, pick a guy and throw it to. That's really what it's coming down to. William Bunt's problem tonight hasn't been anything really other than just fundamentals. Yeah, it's all correctable. It, it's, it's the simple things. Right. That may end up being a really good punt. Well, not a really good one, but at least uh, there's no return on it. Eleven oh four remaining. Yeah, it's little thing. It's uh, like I said, it's it's high. It's a high snap and an inopportune time. It's a it's a uh, it really a tackle that should be made. You know that you know where they the guy gets an extra three yards in the first down. All of that is correctable. Like I said, it's the skill is there. The talent is there. Now, I was talking before the game with a couple of the Anderson County uh, people, and they said they had four or five college-level players on this team. There's a flag in the backfield. That's usually a hold. Holding. I'd say that's either on number 55, number 58. Yeah, that's definitely. Ref was right there. I'm not gonna lie, I'm enjoying this, this replay thing. We've missed a couple of them, but uh, it's really helping us see what we missed when we're trying to watch the whole, scan the whole field here. Now for the game next week, we probably won't have that ability, but uh, our home games, we should be able to do that. And if we do have that ability, it'd probably be limited. First and 22. Little shuttle pass up the middle. He got through the traffic. That's Gallagher. Oh, my goodness. Fumble. Fumble. Wyatt Rutgerson recovers. I think he ran over um, number 36, Eddie Brown. <laughs> then he just lost the ball. He's, we're lucky we, he got the ball before he got out of bounds. Reverses Phil. Good hit, good, good hit for a tackle. Got the recovery, Rutgerson looks like. See, replay once again, who forced the ball out. It may have been Sugden. I think Sugden. Let's see. He's running right there. Sugden. Looks like he got a Sugden got a hand yep. in there. Sugden punched it out. We got to give Clemmer a clean pocket right here. First and ten. 
We just seen that all night. <laughs> Having to throw off his back foot. I think our best bet right now would be to try a screen pass. Something to uh, you can't catch go, them off guard. You can't go down the field right now unless you roll them out. There it is. Now, will the blocking be there? Answer is no. It's so congested in the middle, even with them blitzing, that they really couldn't do the screen pass over the middle, I don't believe, at this point. They might be able to pull it off. So it's third and 10, actually third and 12 maybe. Ball in the 47, 10 minutes left in the game. Three wide to the left. Need some yards right blitz. here. He has to just fling it down the field and it's incomplete. I mean, what do you do? He's get he Anderson County's just bringing so much pressure from so many different angles. <laughs> He's just got about three seconds to throw the ball. It's a miracle. There's not been a strip sack yet. As Bryant barely gets it away. This is a low punt. He corner out of bounds corner. at the one yard line. Don't see that too often. It wasn't pretty, but it was effective. <laughs> I got to figure out how to do this uh, rewind thing faster. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there he goes right there. Right got there. And that's where we need our zoom button. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't have a zoom button. But if you'd like to donate, we could probably <laughs> buy one. And it would we could probably zoom in on that. 936 remaining. Now this is where William Blunt needs to stack the box and force Anderson County to throw it. Gallagher has been pounding the rock all night long. They hand it to Gallagher, and he's brought down near the four. Martin out of the shotgun. Hands it off to Gallagher. Got some room, and he's dragged down near the 16. Gallagher carries. He's tackled by Eddie Brown. First down, Anderson County. First and ten. Martin swings it out right side. This is Ryan Moog. Ryan Moog with the reception. Wyatt Rutgerson on the stop.
trying to look boss to see what that is. What is that? Third and short for the Mavericks. Hand off to Gallagher. He's got some room. Breaks a tackle. He's finally marked down at the 47. He just put a couple moves on us. Martin hands it off. He looks a little shaken up on that play. He got hit pretty hard. Okay, Ryan Moog is um, walking off the, off the field slowly. Looks like another cramp. I mean, just they were stretching his leg as if it was a cramp, possibly. Second and seven for the Mavericks.
I have a feeling the Mavericks are just going to take their time the rest of the night. Martin. By two scores, there's the, pay, there's the fake. Flings it down the field, it's caught. Um, in case you're wondering, Max Preps um, ranks Anderson County as the 39th best team in Tennessee um, for their class, which is 4A. They are ranked third. Screen pass, dropped. dropped. I think that was Ethan Powers right there. Five fifty five left in the game. We got second ten Mavericks inside their uh the William Blunt thirty on the twenty what about twenty five yard line. Screen pass set up nicely. That's Gallagher. Looks like there was a flag. holding flag. I'm guessing that was a holding flag. Um, My guess is it's on uh, Trey No. Where was the holding at? Oh, we, we, we just not get it in the frame. I don't think we got it in the frame. I'm trying to point to the screen here, but apparently y'all can't see me. <laughs> this is what, again, you um, like to donate. Oh, right there, right yeah, there. right there. There it is. 40, 58 maybe. <clears throat> yeah, it'd be nice to have a little teleprompter. Once we master this, though, I think we got, we got enough stuff to master. Martin back to throw. Scrambles right. He's got all day. Flings it towards the end zone. The pass is caught. Touchdown, yeah. Mavericks. Logan Berry got behind the defense and hauled in the grab. Yeah, he had too much time to throw the ball on that one. He could have ran for 20 yards as well. Steve Wagner to attempt. Kick is no good. The second miss, missed extra point. Okay, <laughs> um, I guess we're <laughs> on the air now. Um, That's what happens when you push buttons. <laughs> yeah, I hit the preview button, but uh, it cut right to us. So, on offense, we've just not been able to get anything going in the second half, let's be honest. Um, I mean, these last five and a half minutes, what would you be looking for? Well, you got a 20-point lead. I don't, ex I don't expect uh, William Blunt's going to call the dogs off yet. As far as you know, they're going to they're still try to go out there and mm -hmm. try to compete and win. And uh, I don't think we'll see yet. I don't think we'll see sub substitutes right now. I mean, it's a 20-point game. You got five minutes. Anything can happen at this point. Cut back uh, live to the field right now. Steve Wagner to kick for Anderson County.
Balling returns at the 12. Got out to about the 29, I believe. First and ten governors. Clemmer. Fires and it's caught. This is Tarver. Cuts back at the 40. 35. Down to about the 32 yard line. Tarver showing a little bit of that speed. Like I said, anything can happen. 5.24 remaining in the fourth quarter. Blitz. Clemmer rolls right. And it's dropped by Pratt. Tell you this Anderson County ban is persistent. I think they'd be out of breath by now. Second and ten. Clemmer back to throw. Fires far side. It's caught. Touchdown, Governors. Jordan Tarver. There we go. So you give him some time and he puts his, he's able to. Great protection that time by the line. Anderson County didn't bring some crazy blitz too. Trey no wimping off the field for Anderson County. That just proves that, um, you know, we we have the skill to do these things. And uh, I'd like to see us be a little bit more consistent play by play. Because if we can establish that consistency, we'll be, uh, we'll have a really good season, I believe. I actually do believe that. Scores 33 to 20, Anderson County. Here's the play again. What a grab by Tarver. Line doing their job, held everybody up. He has time to throw it. And then you just let the big receivers go get it. Four minutes and 54 seconds remaining in the game. So I said that at a what? Five minute ago. And it's still going to be an uphill climb. But the student section is wearing togas tonight, I believe. Your student, do you have a toga on? I do not. Uh, I have this uh, this William Blunt polo on. So uh, right, yeah. I'm not participating in the uh, student section tonight. Yeah, well, I don't really want to see you in a toga. I don't want to see myself in a toga. Yeah. <laughs> the viewers probably don't want to see you, see you in a toga. Joe Matosian to kick. Looks like it's going to be an onside. And that is recovered by, I think, Michael Carroll. I 
I've seen some great things from uh, Michael Harris and Brett Bowling tonight. Um, I think they'd have to be our stars right now. Uh, right. Harris on defense and Bowling on offense. First and ten. Martin. And that is Gallagher once again. A little bit of oversuit by the, it looks like maybe the outside linebacker. He kind of got a little bit too far in, and the guy bounced it back out. Got to play a little bit better contain there. Martin, still on the shotgun. Swings it out to Moog. Moog cuts back and is tackled near the 27. About four minutes remaining. Uh, Mavericks. Uh, time is on their hands right, th right now. Play action, passes incomplete. incomplete. It Stops hit the, the clock. Hit the ground. So I think they're in probably four down territory just based off what I've seen for the kicking game. Um, so they'll probably try to run it all the way down. If, if we do stop them on third down, I think they'll probably go for it. 334 left in the fourth. What you gotta watch right now. So here's a handoff to Gallagher. Gallagher Tackled by Michael Harris. Attention Alyssa Lukasic. Alyssa Lukasic, please report down to the track next to the wheel one cheerleader. Alyssa Lukasic. Martin hands it off to Moog, and he scores. Well, Touchdown, Moog Mavericks. There's a flag on the nine-yard line. Well, I guess unsportsmanlike. I saw some. Well, that was a hold. It will come so back. It's a hold, hold against the Mavericks. So it'll be ten yards. That's a light flag. Moog just did a nice job right there cutting outside. Um, there was nothing up the middle. We want had it stopped up the middle. So it's third and um, about eight, nine, eight. Clock stopped. Martin hands it off. And it's gonna bring up fourth down. William Blunt calls timeout. Timeout, William Blunt. Timeout, 
so far this game has been uh, dominated by the Anderson County running game. Um, Gallagher has been perfect tonight except for those two fumbles. Right, he's a heavy load to bring down, I know that. Again, he is 5'11", 220 pounds playing running back. And he's got some speed and some some moves. I wouldn't say great moves, but when you when you're 220 pounds and you're moving, that's that's a great move. I guess. I've I've seen him bounce multiple runs outside, um, get quite a bit of yardage off of it. So it's fourth and four. Uh, I wouldn't doubt I wouldn't doubt us. We'd see one of those passes, those quick passes again. Somebody jumped. 55 jumped. He was in hurry to go somewhere. <laughs> now, based off of that, do we know what play they were trying to run? <laughs> I don't know. This is Martin dumping it off. Nice play. <laughs> Great tackle. Still a 13-point game. Never know. I like the fight. We got to have a big play right here, though, in order to stay in it. I like the fight by the governors tonight. You know, they, uh, they've had a couple things go against them. And they're they're hanging in there, and they're giving her, they're giving ourselves a chance. Clemmer is the quarterback. Clemmer rolls right, throws right, incomplete. Sell this one out of bounds. This brings up second and ten. Clemmer rolls right. Fires and it's incomplete. Receiver fell down on the play. Intended for number 13, Isaiah Pratt. 216 remaining. Third and 10 for the Governors. Anderson County band playing again. As here's a swing pass to Sugden. Makes a man miss. And he's tackled. But not before, not before he got the first down. Sugden's played good tonight. There's the replay. Clemmer. Quick pass, Tarver, he's got it. First down, William Blunt. Got to go Good quick right here. Clock's moving, 150. Clemmer rolls left, he's got some time. Flings it down the field, double coverage. Almost intercepted. Should have been uh, picked off by Anthony White. Mm -hmm. 
safety had to come over to help that time. Got a minute, 34. Clemmer had to just get it off. Lost yardage on the catch. Pass is complete to Wyatt Rutgerson. At this point, that doesn't really matter. Clemmer out of the shotgun. Pressured. Has to get rid of it, incomplete. Intended for bowling is incomplete. Pressure's coming on that one. Got a man down for Anderson County. The guy that came off the corner. Logan Dolan shaking up. Official timeout. We're going to take a timeout. So we got fourth and 13, ball in 45 minutes, two seconds left. Uh, I think his name was Logan Dolan. Is that his name? It was walking yes. off. It's good to see him walk off. 
Governors don't have any timeouts remaining. Fourth down. Sugden is the tailback. Clemmer back to throw. Fires. It's caught. No, it's ripped out. Great coverage that time by Miller. There is a flag. Personal foul yep. right from the passer. Late hit. Here's the replay of that. Yep, that was a late hit on Clemmer right there. So that will give the Governors the first down with 56 seconds remaining. That'll be first down, Governors. Ball at the 40. Here's Clemmer. Throws, it's caught. Sugden. Drop down near the 36. Clemmer spikes it. There's a flag. I don't think I've ever seen a false start on a spike. I could see how it could happen, though. Yeah. Trying to go so fast. Clock's ticking. In a hurry. Clemmer. Throws near side, out of bounds. Intended for Rutgerson. Pass intended for Ryan Rutgerson is out of bounds. 20, 23 seconds remaining. It's third and ten. Clemmer rolling left, flings it, it's incomplete. Fourth and ten. Eighteen seconds left. Clemmer. Pressured. Incomplete intended for Sugden over the middle. And Anderson County will take over on downs. Possibly the last play of the game right here. Yeah, the governor's out of timeouts. And that'll do it. As Martin Neal's final score. Anderson County 33, William Blunt 20. Um, our player of the game tonight. is Michael Harris. <laughs> we're, 
<laughs> we're having some te some technical difficulties. All right. Um, so yes, Michael Harris is our player player of the game tonight. Um, he had a lot of huge tackles for the uh, William Blunt defense tonight, and uh, he was also in there on a few offensive snaps. So uh, great to see. <laughs> Yeah, great to see him uh, get our player of the game award. So, um, final score 33-20 against Anderson County. Um, William Blunt know. played a good game, just few errors here and there that uh, wind up costing them. Yeah, had some big plays that uh, that definitely cost them. Um, you know, losing's hard. And, and uh, th they don't like it, and that's a good thing. Um, this team, I don't think they uh, – I think they will take their lessons from this one and be ready for Cleveland. Mm -hmm. I really do believe that. Uh, they've they got some things on film that they can uh, go back and look at and uh, and really see where they can improve. Um, again, uh, what I've seen, what it seems like to me uh, is that we're really good on some plays and uh, and we're just not consistent on the others. I mean, you're getting people. The, uh, the fundamentals cost us uh, this this game. Yeah, like I said before, we have it's just we have talent on the field. Yeah. And, uh, and I mean, those are easy things to fix. Um, right. You, those are changes you can make overnight. So, yeah, it's just a. Uh, and they're they're a fairly young team still too, mm -hmm. so I'm not trying to make excuses. That's just the facts. So uh, I'm sure they will just uh, regroup after this game tonight, uh, call it what it was. Uh, had it, they faced a good Anderson County team, but you know I can't we can't say that every week because in this league you're playing good teams every week. So uh, to me, they showed that they that they can compete. So uh, it'd be interesting what we do next week at Cleveland. So with having said that. We will be at Cleveland next week. Uh, kickoff is set for 7.30. Right. Uh, be sure to tune in. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be in Cleveland, so uh, not sure how many are making the trip down there. But uh, right. from all of us at Gov Club TV, uh, good night and go Govs. <laughs>